Good morning, everyone. How are you this morning? Uh, this is the 23rd of June, and this is week 25. Can you believe it? I wanted to show you some of the things that we're saving this week. It's been a really good week, I have to say. Got lots of things collected and got grass clippings from both our yard and from Brian's yard. And so we're right on target. But I just want to do just a little quick sweep and <clears throat> show you a few things here. On the carbon side, of course, we've got our shredded paper, cardboard, uh, uh, bags that came from our CVS uh, gr uh, drugstore. And they have they use 90% recycled material in their bags. So we're going to put them over the top and make that 100%. And uh, things from our grocery store, of course, toilet paper, paper towels, uh, any kind of little sticks, popsicle sticks, uh, ice cream sticks that you get, uh, cork, any of those things. Um, I got socks this week. And the socks came, it was Dr. Scholl's, and they came on these little, uh, they look like they're plastic, but it's its actually uh, paper, just a uh, kind of a shiny paper or a soft paper. But that will certainly break down. Uh, over on, on our other side, you know, we save all of our cardboard from our cereal boxes. Uh, this is where I keep my rice. It keeps uh, any bugs or anything out of it. And when we do rice, we take our rice and we rinse it. Uh, you know, of course, not the whole thing, but we take whatever, or half a cup or whatever, and, and rinse that. And that rice water is really beneficial. I'll tell you how beneficial in a minute. If you have anything in your pantry <clears throat> that's, um, that's going bad, that's getting stale, um, whether it has an expiration date on it or not, sometimes, you know, if you're a cook, and you take out flour after a while, you can you can tell that it's no longer gonna gonna do its job. This was from our, our corn. We had canned corn, and I use that corn water in my sprinkling can, and it adds sugars back into um, it, well, adds it into the soil, it adds it into the plants. Um, your onions. Just another little tip: if you have onions and you're peeling them take water added to it and and it will act as a bug deterrent let it sit for 24 hours and you're making your own homemade bug repellent of course coffee grounds uh the papers uh you can put those on the bottom of your pots and it'll keep the soil from going through but of course Coffee grounds are great because they've already gone through the coffee maker. So they're kind of a sterile um, sterile uh, product, and uh, you can add that to your soil. And, of course, if you have a compost pen, that's perfect. If you have worms, even better. The worms will take it, they will digest it, and they will turn it into rich castings. Now, I've started uh, using this idea and my friend over um, uh, Priya over at Evergreen uh, Guard, Evergreen Plants uh, she has a great channel it's it's Evergreen 1, 1M and um, she takes her aloe and she soaks it and that really is, is very good again for your plants uh, I make a um, I t scrape the gel out and we use that for our skin but I was always taking the the actual little branch and I was throwing those away. And then I started giving them to the worms and I thought, I bet if I soaked it in water first, and I've seen her do it, and she feeds that to her plants, then I could still give those little uh, skins to the worms. And of course, I use eggshells. And, uh, you know, my, my eggshells are, you know, Sometimes I clean them, sometimes I don't. But you know, you could, you can just do that if you wish. But you can also, you know, pulverize it. You can. Let me just show you how powdery this is. Yeah, see how powdery that is. It's great. It's wonderful. And um, I add that to my worm bins, and the worms use it as a grit uh, in their systems because they don't have teeth. They don't have a tongue. They do have a mouth. 
and they have like a little cupping uh, muscle is like a top lip you would think and it draws the food in and it also draws in some eggshell and it acts um, it, it helps in their gizzard to break down food so I think that's that's it from here and let me just run around here and real quick give you a hello 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 <laughs> let me take a sip of my very favorite uh, everyday dose. Uh, this is the uh, mushroom coffee I've been drinking now since December and I really like it and um, as somebody who has been watching my channel her name is uh, Barbie B-A-R-B-Y dash daily capital D-A-I-L-E-Y uh, rule life 40. Um, I, th she, I think she's I think she told me she was in Washington State she said, oh, I, I wanted to try that. And then she just told me she tried it and she loves it. And uh, they're gonna, she's going to get the creamer that goes with it. I don't use a cream or anything in my coffee. So it'll be interesting. It's a good company. Anybody who uh, wants to get off coffee, it has, I think it has 55 uh, milligrams of caffeine in it. So it's almost equal with... Um, with tea. Anyway, that was that was it. I, I've showed you everything. Uh, of course, we use tea bags. Uh, we use brass clippings. That's the main bulk of what this is all about for me. Uh, and the paper goods. Uh, do I have anything else? Any of my flowers uh, that I used to throw away? All the different things that I used to throw away. Uh, shrimp shells. If we're having shrimp, I take the shrimp, uh, I boil it. Um, shrimp are chitin. They're made of you know, like a protein and a chitin. And it's, it's good for us and it's good for uh, the environment. It's certainly good for your, your worms. If you eat avocados, the avocado, um, the shell of course isn't, you know, good for you. But uh, the pits are, um, you can make a, an avocado tea out of it. You, you know, I cut mine up. You don't have to, but I, I chop mine into like eight pieces and I boil that with water. And it's a, it's a form of vitamin B and it's very good for you. It's a, a, a probiotic as I, as I recall. But um, let's see, did I tell you everything? Oh yeah, uh, vacuum. When I vacuum, we use that uh, when Rick sweeps um, you know, we both have our own jobs on when we clean the house and his is to sweep the floor and mine is to vacuum everything. So all of that goes into our, uh, into our worm bin or compost pile. And I think that's, that's about it for, for that part of it. Um, we had, like I said, we had a good week. Let me get back to June. Can you believe it? This is week 25. Holy moly. Uh, the week is just, weeks are just racking them up here. Uh, we did, got 40 pounds, uh, 1.7 ounces. So um, for 25 weeks, it was 829 pounds, 6.3 ounces. Now next week is halfway there and I'm not to a thousand pounds and I'm certainly not going to be unless, you know, unless somebody chops down their tree and gives me all of their their clippings so uh, but not bad huh not bad last year I looked it up and last year it was um, August 1st was when um, I hit a thousand pounds <clears throat> for those of you who might recall and uh, I thought that was terrific so you never know I I certainly could make that I could make that again but uh, last year we were going for a thousand pounds and this year we're, we're hoping to do two thousand pounds so uh, challenge yourself I hope that you'll challenge yourself and uh, I just uh, I did tell you about the rice water oh I didn't tell you about the rice water and it was um, it helps the garden uh, it helps create good bacteria in the soil, which helps the organic matter 
to break down uh, more thoroughly and the nutrients to get to the roots. So, uh, you know, pour it around your plants, obviously. And uh, the liquid would also be uh, beneficial if you do have worms or if you have a compost pile. And um, you can, you know, if you have plants, you can water from the top, you can water from the bottom. You can also mist it. Uh, rice water also is good for your hair. If you, uh, I, I used it, I only used it once. Uh, I have other products I use for my hair, but um, my friend Priya, who uh, has told me so much, so many good, she's from India, and she's always telling me all these different organic things that they use there. And uh, they use rice water. The ladies use rice water on their hair. She has the most gorgeous hair. She's a gorgeous girl. So she, you know, so the hair is just part of her gorgeous self. Um, anyway, that was, uh, uh, that was it. I just um, uh, use what you have. Uh, reuse what you can. Um, it, enjoy doing it. If you don't enjoy doing this, if this is a drudge to you, you can either quit or you can change how you look at things. And um, there's a doctor that I follow, John Blue, and it's L L I U L L U I. One of those. I'm dyslexic, so the the letters get mixed up. <clears throat> and he always says, be part of the change you want to see. thought, wow, isn't that great? One of my other favorite people that I, I like hearing about and reading is Teddy Roosevelt. And he said, to complain without a solution is just whining. To complain without a solution is just whining. And I've been having so many problems with my Achilles with I used to walk an hour and uh, I got to the point where it hurt so bad I wasn't able to walk at all and now I'm back to walking about 15 to 20 minutes you know with a little bit of pain and then I go up to our local pool just uh, where the where the waterfall is that you've seen our fountain rather and there's a pool on the other side and I get in the pool and I walk back and forth and do a little exercises that I got from the months I took physical therapy that made the situation worse. Well, I do that physical therapy exercises in the water and it seems to be <clears throat> helping the Achilles heal on a real slow basis. So I'm not, I'm not complaining without a solution. So I, I don't like whining. I, you know, I try to be strong uh, as long as I can. So I, I think that was I think that was it. Uh, the whole purpose of this, of course, is to uh, lessen our trash and improve our soil and uh, become more organic, become more self-sufficient as we raise our food, uh, or if it's just flowers, uh, we can become um, more self-sufficient. Uh, raise more nutrient dense uh, food and uh, become less dependent on chemicals. Um, I'm looking at some of the chemicals I have out in my garage. I have my own little uh, bookshelf that was a bookshelf at one time and I've turned that into my little garden center. And uh, I mean, I had all kinds of chemicals probably up until maybe three years ago, four years ago. I've had worms since 2009, and uh, but I always kind of like fell back on uh, sprays and um, uh, things that we added to make our grass look good and, and all that kind of stuff. The grass doesn't look as good, let's say, um, as, it, as it did when it was just constantly fertilizer and um, herbicides and pesticides and uh, you know I mean you're just you're just pumping it and um, uh, you know bags of malorgamite used to be like thirty dollars and now they're sixty and seventy dollars and so you know you can keep your own cost on by doing all these different things so I hope you'll um, You'll take some advice, take some ideas away. Uh, I, I, this looks 
for those of you who don't speak English, you know, you're, you're like, what is she doing? You could just give this to your worms. Uh, when people say um, worms don't like onions, they don't like oranges, that's kind of a, that's a mistake. Uh, because if the worms didn't like it, they'll move away from it. Uh, onions turn to sugar. Uh, I mean, you know, not granulated sugar, but they turn to sugar. And uh, your worms will, will go wild over this. So um, anyway, I think I've, I've told you enough for one week. And I hope you'll come back and see me again uh, next Sunday. It will be our halfway mark. And remember, you know, garden what you've got. Uh, oh, I promised I'd tell you about these shirts. These, this is from a company called um, Fresh Clean uh, Threads. Fresh Clean Threads. Great company. Uh, the material is just really nice. Um, I put them in the washer and whenever I take it out after a spin dry, uh, that's not even on permapress or anything, you just shake it out and hang it. Uh, it doesn't hold the, the liquids, so they dry within a few hours. Uh, they, they use the line, everybody's using this line now. It's buttery soft. I, I'm not rubbing butter on my body, but, uh, but they are, they're very soft. So uh, if you look it up online, it's uh, fresh, clean threads, just the three words, and it will come up. Uh, they run between about $14 and $22. Uh, very well made, very well stitched. Um, American company, if that's important to you. Um, that's it. Garden what you've got. I hope to see you all back next Sunday, and I hope everybody take care. Love you guys. Bye.